Hello, good morning. This is Joni. You're listening to your local station, 89.3 TJLF. For today, I'll be speaking to the founder of the project Gen Z, Liz Atkinson. Hi, Liz. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for your time. That's okay. So firstly, can you give me more information on what, on what Project Gen Z is all about? Yeah, no problem. Well, Project Gen Z is a project that is aimed at helping children across the world. Um, so this year we're actually concentrating on Cambodia and we're working hand in hand with an incredible orphanage run by Geraldine Cox. Um, and her name is very, very popular around Australia. Um, where a group of Australian entrepreneurs were going to be getting together and we're going to be heading over and we'll be running a new workshop series called Dare to Dream with over 100 orphans at the Sunrise Village. So our goal is to educate these children on life skills so and entrepreneurial skills as well. So everything from how to goal set through to building the right relationships. So when they actually come to leave the orphanage, um, you know, when they're 16, 17 years old, we've given them those skills that will help them stand on their own two feet a little bit more. So our goal is to inspire as many children as possible. Yeah, definitely. So what was the inspiration behind this project? Well, in 2011, I got the opportunity to go over to Cambodia and actually work with Geraldine in the orphanage. And it really opened my eyes up, um, you know, meeting some of the children and, and hearing their stories. You know, we all read about things that happen in the world, but I came first to first with kids at the age of seven that had been... Um, you know, rescued from child prostitution Mm -hmm. and from begging circles and specifically one little girl that I met just really, really changed my life and her name was Wow. And at the time, she'd been rescued from a begging circle in Thailand and at the age of seven, she'd had a litre of acid thrown in her face. Um, And the acid was meant to basically make her a better beggar. And this incredible child was now rescued by Geraldine and and brought to Sunrise. And she was the most incredible and positive little girl. And I could just see from speaking to the way she was just eager to put the past behind her and, um, you know, bring new opportunities into her life. So since then, you know, I've been searching for a way to actually get back to Cambodia to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And this idea popped into my head a little while ago. Um, I obviously run a couple of companies myself and have a lot of uh, friends in the entrepreneur and business space in in Australia. So I called on a few of my my best friends and said, guys, you know, we really need to pass our skills to children and and really make a difference to them because every single child deserves the right to dream. And I believe that with the skill set that we can teach them, it will just open their mind up and, and allow them to think a little bit bigger. Yeah, of course. In what ways will the project help children? It will really be given, it's designed to give them real skills. So we won't just be teaching classroom style, we'll be giving them practical skills. Um, As an example, one of the challenges we will be doing with the children is actually splitting them into teams and running an apprentice style challenge. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen The Apprentice on TV. Um, but a few years ago, one of my good friends, Andrew Morello, actually won the TV program and he will be heading to Cambodia to actually run this. And it'll mean of setting a business up in one day from scratch and making it a profitable business by the end of the day with the children. So they'll actually get to experience firsthand what it's like to actually run a business and at the same time learn these precious skills, you know, that they would never probably learn anywhere else. Yeah, definitely. It's very important to empower the next generation. Oh, absolutely. You know, these children have the power to change society um, and to, you know, really, really make changes in their own country. So we're very, very, very excited to do it just to see, you know, what type of changes we can give the children and how we can help them. Definitely. So what is your vision for this project? Our vision is pretty big. Um, We're starting out with a vision of over the next five years, we will be visiting five different countries, and our goal is to inspire um, face-to-face 50,000 children um, by actually putting these children through our Dare to Dream workshop. Yes, and finally, for those who would like to find more information about Project Gen Z, who should I contact? Well, the website's probably the best place to go. Um, the website is nice and easy to remember. It's just projectgenz.com.au. 
say you. Um, obviously, we're looking to raise as much money as possible for Sunrise Children's Villages. You know, even something as small as ten dollars can really, really help. Um, you know, buy educational things for the classes, and obviously, just give these these orphans a better life. So it would be great if you could jump on there and help out. And uh, obviously, there's all the details on the project there as well. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Great. Thank you so much.